Hi guys, this is Lee here. I'm out on home leave at the moment, following a psychotic episode that I had about two and a half weeks ago. Now, the footage that I'm about to show you is quite disturbing and it's raw, it's real, it's me. Um, I am in a bipolar type 1 psychotic state. Uh, I guess I can't really explain it so it'd be best if you just sat and watched it. I just wanted you to know that I'm doing okay now. I'm on home leave now. I'm looking to be discharged today, hopefully, fingers crossed, when I get to see my psychiatrist later on at the hospital, he's going to say, yes, you can go home. So, yeah, just sit back and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Shh. I'm in hospital, in a psychiatric ward, and I have to show you that I, I needed to tell you, tell you that people are trying to get into my mind. They can't get into my mind. I won't let them because um, I bought these special things here. I bought these and they have to be orange. They can't be, the normal black ones don't work. They need to be orange ones. And when you wear these, the, the people they can't look into your soul they can't see into your mind and they can't plant thoughts in there so um, luckily for me that there's nobody about at the moment there's nobody it's all quiet but I'm, I'm constantly on the lookout just in case I'm going to, going to talk for very long because I don't want anybody to see why someone's coming, someone's coming. The voices in my head are constantly fucking trying to get me to escape. They keep banging on. You gotta get out, 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 look for ways to get out. And I'm looking around all the time at opportunities to try and get out of this place, but it's really, really, really scary at the moment. I, 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 I don't I don't know what what the what to do. I don't know whether to tr try and try and escape or whether to um, hide somewhere. But um, I think the staff are going to kind of try and kill me because why would they want me here? Why why do I deserve to live? I, they, they, I I'm just a burden on everyone on on society, and it would be best if I was dead. So. That's that's what they're trying to say, and I, I have to write this down and document this because if anything happens to me, then then somebody's going to find this video, and you, you're going to know, you're going to know that 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 something's happened. So um, it's uh, it's 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 uh, it, it, it needs to be like. Um, that is, it needs to, to, to be changed, all the things that's wrong in this world, it, it can't go on like this, it really can't, it, it, there's so many bad things going on, so, um, just, uh, It's here and they're coming in in the universe is so big and it's immense and it's so vast and Things just happen like you know you put your coat on and then you walk down the street and next thing you know someone's looking at you and they're trying to get into your mind and maybe they read thoughts and um, They kind of like um, see strawberry ice cream because strawberry ice cream is like Disgusting! I fucking hate it, and and um, my my preferred one is chocolate ice cream, but you can only get that from the seafront. And um, the, you know when you go to the beach, and those bastard seagulls—they're fucking everywhere. 
and they try and steal it and then they're telling you give me your ice cream 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 and i'm like fuck off fuck off you bastards and then you know oh fishing is so fucking good i love fishing man it, 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 it's one way to like tease the seagulls you get a fish on that hook and they can't fucking have that fish it's like one big fuck you um, to them bastards so yeah the stars will they look down on you and and then they when they see you fishing and and they know they know everything because they're just like the one big superhuman computer that just like goes at a thousand miles an hour a million miles an hour and they they, they these computers they they they're, they're so quick and they're, they're built by superhumans man you know and these are the thoughts that they, they they're trying to steal out my head and i, I don't i don't understand it how how all this is happening it's they've locked me in this room man and uh, the door's open. They're not locked, but it's locked. It's locked in my mind. I just can't get out. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I'm in hospital. Yeah, they still, um, still trying to read my mind, I think, but they got me on diazepam twice a day lorazepam four times a day zoplaclone to make me sleep it's um I'm not seeing a psychiatrist three days I'm paranoid as fuck I uh, my voices are telling me that I'm a liar you're like, you're a liar, you're a liar, you're a liar. They're not going to believe you. You're stupid. You're a liar. Nothing, it, nothing, nothing is ever going to be believed. Your psychiatrist is going to laugh at you. Tell him to fuck off. Go on, tell him to fuck off. When you see him, tell him to fuck off. Oh, it goes on and fucking on and on. The pills are making me stupid stoned but it doesn't stop the thoughts they think it does it doesn't work I know I need something I know I need an antipsychotic I know that now I couldn't see it before but this place is crazy man there's some crazy dudes here I'm just keeping an eye on my door because uh, I don't want anybody just coming in and seeing this shit I'll give you an update when I'm feeling better sorry about the noise of the car guys but I had to get this down on video right now because it's fresh in my head and uh, I want to partly um, the reason why I went into hospital was for because I was hearing voices and I can't like describe to you what hearing voices is like but I can tell you a little funny story that just happened like literally we were dropping our son off at a train station for a journey he was making to Plymouth and um, I was at the door my son had got on the train and my wife was stood behind me and what happened was the voice I just heard this voice in my head say Say, tell her to get off the train. Your wife's getting on the on the train. Your wife's getting on the train. Get her off. Get her off. Get her off the train. And I, I panicked. And in my mind's eye, I saw that this woman got on the train. But I thought it was my wife because the voices were so strong in my head. So I'm saying to to the back of my wife, yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off the train. The train's gonna. The doors are gonna close automatically. You're gonna be stuck on the train. You're gonna end up in Plymouth. Get off. Get off. What are you doing? And then this woman turned round and looked at me, and I was like, "Uh oh, oh my God! I just said that to a complete stranger. I must have looked crazy as hell." So anyway, that is a small description of what hearing voices is like and how it can affect you.
So as you can see um, from the last clip, uh, that was on my way home for a home leave. We dropped my son off at the station uh, to go to Plymouth and he, I'm still getting symptoms. I'm 70% of the way to recovery from that psychotic episode. They don't ever give you 100% before discharge is an acute admission so you get discharged when they feel that you're safe to go into the community. Was I safe to go into the community? I need to drag the woman from a train. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.